In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about how to join the YouTube Partner Program to get monetized on YouTube. I'll walk you through the complete monetization requirements, how to know when you're eligible, and we'll even cover the process to apply and touch on a few recent updates that you'll need to know. Let's talk about monetization requirements. YouTube offers two different entry points to join the YouTube Partner Program. The first tier is easier to obtain and gets you access to fan funding features like Super Chats, Super Thanks, Channel Memberships, and Shopping. For this tier, you need 500 subscribers, 3 public uploads in the last 90 days, and either 3,000 valid public watch hours in the last 12 months, or 3 million valid public shorts views in the last 90 days. The second tier unlocks ad revenue and requires 1,000 subscribers and either 4,000 valid public watch hours in the last 12 months or 10 million valid public shorts views in the last 90 days. Both of these tiers require the basics, being 18 or older or having a parent manager AdSense, living in a supported country, and I'll show you a list of these countries on the screen, feel free to pause the video. And you can't have any active community guideline strikes, you need two-step verification turned on, advanced feature access enabled, and you'll need to have an active AdSense for YouTube account linked as well. All right, that was a bit of a mouthful, but don't stress because YouTube does a really good job of guiding you through all of this, and these steps are actually quite easy to complete. Watch time hours can be a little confusing, so let's clear it up and break it down more simply. Long form video watch time is straightforward. You need 4,000 valid public watch hours. If someone watches 10 minutes of your 15 minute video, you get 10 minutes of watch time. It's simple math, right? Well, sort of. Here's a fun fact. If a viewer watches 10 minutes of your 15 minute video at 1.25x speed, you actually get eight minutes of watch time, not the full 10. So if you feel inclined to watch this video at 0.5x speed, I would get double the watch time, but I'm only teasing, definitely don't do that. Another important caveat that seems to confuse a lot of newer creators is that shorts are tracked completely separately from long form. Shorts watch time doesn't count towards your 4,000 hour requirement. In fact, shorts watch time isn't tracked at all towards monetization. It's shorts views that get tracked, but only for the shorts monetization path, which is 10 million public valid shorts views within 90 days. I see a lot of people get mixed up wondering why their shorts watch time doesn't fill the 4,000 hour bucket, and once they realize they need 10 million shorts views, they get a little discouraged. So my advice is to pick one format and stick with it instead of going hard on both. Here's what does not count towards your 4,000 watch time hours. Private videos, unlisted videos, deleted videos, watch time from ad campaigns, YouTube shorts as previously mentioned, and live streams that go unlisted, deleted, or do not convert to video on demand. So think of it like this, if the general public cannot easily find and watch your content, it probably won't count. The key is to focus on public accessible content that provides real value to viewers. That's what YouTube rewards. Now here's a tracking tip. The best place to watch your progress is in the earn tab. There's a progress bar for each metric and each tier. Just know that the numbers in the earn tab often lag by a few days compared to what's in the analytics tab. So to get a near real time read on your watch time, Go into the analytics, click on see more, then click last 365 days. Then filter your content type to just show videos only so that your shorts, if you post those, don't inflate the number. This will show you your current long form watch time. Now pro tip, don't sleep on live streams. Public video on demands from your live streams can stack hours fast if you're struggling to hit the 4,000 hours. And just remember that watch time and subscriber growth don't always grow together or at the same pace. Some niches rack up hours a lot faster than subscribers or vice versa. So don't beat yourself up if one lags behind the other. Once you hit the numbers, don't stress too much about what you have to do next. YouTube does an amazing job of notifying you to let you know when you're eligible and how to apply. You'll get an email and you'll see pop-ups and buttons in the YouTube studio with next steps. Once you're ready, step one will be to accept the terms. Read the YouTube Partner Program terms carefully. I know it's tempting to just click accept and move on, but don't. These aren't just the legal fine print. These are the actual rules that you'll need to follow to keep your monetization. Then step two is to create your AdSense account. This part trips up a lot of people, not because it's hard, but because they rushed through it. You only get one AdSense account per payee name. So make sure you take your time. Enter your legal name and payment details carefully and then double check everything. 
Once you're linked, you'll need to accept the terms for each monetization module. There's one for watch page ads, shorts ads, band funding, and shopping. You'll need to work through each of these before any revenue can actually start coming in. And then finally, step three is to wait for review. And this is the less fun part. YouTube says the review can take up to 30 days, but in almost all cases, it's much faster than that, sometimes just a few days. If your application is denied, you'll need to fix whatever issues they flagged and wait before reapplying, which is why it's really important to get everything right the first time. That said, sometimes YouTube doesn't make it really clear why you were rejected. If that happens, open the chat box inside Studio and talk to creator support. Be persistent. Ask for specifics so that you can actually fix the issue and get approved on your next try. Once you're in, YouTube will send you a congratulations email, which is pretty cool to see, but getting approved is just the beginning. What you do next determines whether you're actually going to make money or get stuck in verification limbo. A quick pro tip before we move on, before you think about payouts, there's one switch you'll want to flip that a lot of creators forget about during all the excitement. That is to enable mid-roll ads across the channel. To do this, go to settings, then upload defaults, and then monetization, turn on ads, and then check the box for mid-roll ads. That way, any video over eight minutes is set up for automatic mid-roll ad placement by default. You can always manually adjust the actual placement of the mid-roll ad later, in addition to the automatic placement, but this simple step ensures that mid-roll ads are on and paying you. Okay, mid-roll set, monetization turned on, now let's talk about how and when you'll actually get paid. Before you see actual money, YouTube needs to verify that you are a real person and not some fake account. The first goal isn't actually the $100 payout threshold that you may have heard about. It's actually about 10 US dollars or your local equivalent. Hitting that triggers Google's verification process. They will ask you to confirm your identity and then they'll mail you a six digit pin to your physical payment address that you've entered. Yes, actual postal mail in 2025. Enter that pin to verify your address. And this is where most people panic, but don't. This is just Google's way of protecting both you and the advertiser paying on your content. Before your first real paycheck can be delivered, you'll need the following four boxes checked. One, your address is verified with the pin that we just talked about. Two, your tax info needs to be on file. And again, YouTube will bug you about this, so don't worry about trying to remember all of these details. Three, you'll need to add a payment method so that you can receive your funds. And four, your earnings have to hit the $100 minimum payout threshold or your local equivalent. Once those four are checked, you're finally in line for your first YouTube paycheck. And this is where it gets fun. You're about to get paid. Congrats. Once you're monetized and everything's set up, how does the money actually reach you? Well, here are the payment options that Google has on offer. EFT or direct deposit. This is the standard bank transfer and most common method. SCPA transfer for creators in the EU using IBAN. International wire transfer. This is used in regions where EFT is not available. PayPal hyper wallet. This is US only for now and you can route payments to PayPal, Venmo, or even cash pickup. And then finally, paper checks, which are used in only a few countries, mostly in Latin America. Now, the payment schedule. Once you've hit the $100 payment threshold and cleared all holds, AdSense issues payments between the 21st and 26th of the following month. So, for example, money that you earn in March gets paid out in late April. If the 21st falls on a weekend or a holiday, Google will push that payment to the next business day. After that, how fast the money shows up in your account really just depends on your bank or your payment method. Now that you've seen the exact steps to join the YouTube Partner Program, the next thing you'll need to know is what you're actually getting yourself into and the many ways that you can earn. You can find all of that in my full monetization breakdown video that includes two beta features that almost no one is talking about. So hit that box on the screen right now and I'll see you over there.